Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to a very interesting video. We've got a perforation of the eardrum as you can see, so it's a rather large hole in the eardrum in the um, posterior superior quadrant, so basically um, back and up, so posterior is back and superior is up. So in this case it's the top left portion of the eardrum and it's just in the right position such that we can examine some of the middle ear structures, which we don't see very often. But uh, what we can see through the perforation is the arm of the incus coming down and attaching onto the head of the stapes. So um, those are the, the two most medial bones. So the, the middle ear bones or the ossicles, you have the malleus, the incus and the stapes all joined together in sort of a chain. We call those the ossicles or the acicular chain. So, and that is essentially sort of like a bridge in between the, the eardrum and the inner ear. So when the eardrum vibrates in response to sound, the os ossicular chain also vibrates and that transfers vibration into the inner ear or the cochlea. And uh, obviously there's a hole in the eardrum so that, that transfer of energy is not quite as efficient as it could be. And what's very interesting about this case is that I knew that, the per that this person had a perforation before looking in the ear. And the reason I knew that is because this patient, so the backstory is that this patient suspects that there's been a problem for about four or five months. And they, a couple of weeks ago, they were told by their general practitioner doctor to apply some eardrops to that ear, to this ear right now, to get rid of the wax. So she tried olive oil drops and she felt that she could, upon, upon applying them, she could actually taste them. So, which is a sign that basically the olive oil is going through the perforation into the middle ear. And then as she's chewing, yawning, swallowing and so on, the eustachian tube is opening and allowing that oil to drain out into the back of the nasal cavity. So, which is why she can taste it. And uh, she also applied some fizzy drops, which um, were extremely painful for her. So right there, you can see the middle ear structure quite well. So you're, what you're seeing is the incudostapedial joint, so the, the, the interface between those two bones. And what I'm gonna do is put some arrows in there, um, and we'll also have a, a look at an anatomical diagram so we can actually kind of see a schematic of, of what we're seeing. Um, so there is some dead skin up against the drum, but I really was not keen to go in there and actually get it um, for fear of obviously touching the drum. Um, so. Let's have a closer look at uh, exactly what we're seeing. And I'm just putting the, the suction probe in there just to give me a bit of leverage, leverage up the cartilage so I can get in the right position. So, and that will all, again, I needed to remove that debris just so I could see the perforation clearly demarcated. Um, so, and we're gonna send some images to an ENT doctor. So that's the, the incus hanging down. So, and then, Right there on the second arrow is the head of the stapes. So you can't see all of it, but if we look at an anatomical diagram, right there, that's where the perf is, roughly, and right there, that's what you're seeing. So that's the, it's the junction between those two bones. So, um, and just as a side note, if we just angle the endoscope, see right, that right there, that little sort of white bit? That is the arm or the handle of the malleus. So if we look at an anatomical diagram, the, the actual part of the malleus or the hammer bone that's attached to the eardrum right there, that's what you're seeing. Not all of it, but we can just about, if we angle the endoscope, we can just about see it. So very interesting case there. Um, again, not much wax removal, but then, you know, we don't often see the ossicle so clearly through a perforation. I just wanted to share that with you because it's very interesting. So there we go, short one today, but I thought you would enjoy that. I hope you found that uh, interesting. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next video.